there's nothing separate from being from the ocean of being no waves ever depart from the sea of being and stand alone somehow separate from you have not emerged out of the sea of being the body the mind the personality that has not emerged out of the CB, sea of being and become something else other than the sea of being, right? That's what you are, is the vast, boundless, limitless expanse of being. So from the standpoint that nothing has any independent existence, in order to find the ground of being <laughs> that is everything, Where's the ground of being? You know, all these different words we throw out at presence, the ground of being, the awakened presence, God, right? We could just say all of those are, are essentially synonyms, but no experience that arises, no wave of experience that arises ever departs from this presence of being. It is the presence of being. So it doesn't matter what's being experienced. It doesn't matter what thoughts are arising. It doesn't matter. In fact, just as I said, when you look out at the ocean, we could say there's a wave, but to say there's a wave is to say that there's the sea. They're the same thing. They're literally the same thing, aren't they? So when you look at a thought, what you call a thought, I look at what I call an emotion that's arising. I'm looking at infinity. I'm looking at the vastness. I'm always looking at the vastness of being, the infinite being. There's not anything, there's nothing else. Just like when you look at the waves, you're really looking at the sea. You're looking at a portion of the sea that we're describing as a wave at its particular shape and form, right? But but re relax the attention and what do you realize is that, that the wave is the sea, isn't it? They're inseparable. So there, there's some thought arises and maybe attention goes to that thought. Maybe it's a troubling thought, a worried thought, right? That we might describe in that way. What is that thought? That thought is the vastness of being isn't it? Has no independent existence. This ground of being that nothing ever departs from. Nothing that arises ever escapes the sea of being and becomes something other than being. This is the key thing. Nothing ever becomes anything other than being in its, in its apparent birth, in its, in its appearing. It doesn't suddenly become like the thought that arises doesn't become non-being, <laughs> you see, because it is, it's being. Everything is being. That's what's what's here right now. It's 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 exactly what's here right now. The the this call it being. And this is what is meant by phenomena don't have independent existence. That's, again, one way to understand when, when people talk about the emptiness. There's not things from that perspective. If you can't actually draw a line around the phenomena and go, there it is, you know, that's the boundary of it. If you can't do that, if you can't determine where anything begins, which you can't, then 
drawing the circle around here's the beginning of this phenomena this is the start of the wave is completely arbitrary right there's just this singularity appearing as all this diversity and seeming separation and it's not what i'm talking about is not a particular experience it's not a um It's every experience, it's not certain experiences. It's not feeling good, it's not feeling bad, it's not feeling open, it's not feeling closed. You're always feeling being, does that make sense? <laughs> what else could you possibly be feeling but being? That can look like thought, that can look like emotion, that can look like sensation, that can look like visual appearances, that can look like memory, that can look like fear, can look like joy. Always here, impossible to lose. Because it's the only thing that exists. How could you lose it? <laughs> Where would it go? Well, the only thing we can ever lose is experience, which we're losing constantly. Like I, I've just been talking for whatever, 20 minutes and it's all, it's all gone. It's all been lost in the sense of it's not here right now. But being never went anywhere. Just any more than when the ocean, when the waves rise up and have their seeming existence and then fall back into the sea, what happens to the sea? Well, nothing really it remains the sea, indestructible. <laughs>